Okay, so welcome to ASVAB Weekly. This is the place where we eliminate the bad choices and focus on the right answers. Today's test question comes from the mechanical comprehension area of the ASVAB. So let's just jump in. Um, I provided a picture earlier so you could see and not go through my chicken scratch, but the weight on the lever being balanced by a force of 30 pounds is most nearly what? Our answers are A, B, and C. So we have 42, 84, 105. I gotta get my screen recorded back up because that is real chicken scratch, ladies and gentlemen. But don't worry about it. I will get it together. I'll get it together for you guys. So 42, 84, and 105. A, B, and C. So, what we have here is, we have a, maybe I should do it in another color, yeah, let's try another color, folks. We have a balance point. Then we have our plank, if you would. And that indicates a force. And this indicates a force. And up top here, we have two inches. And the distance here is seven inches. Then we have 30 pounds, put a box there, a 30 pound weight, and we want to know how much weight is here. Okay, this is very easy. <clears throat> All you simply need to do is you need to look at the balance point, and if this weight on the lever being balanced. So this is being balanced by a force of 30 pounds. They want to know what weight is here to make this thing not tip down on this side or down on that side. So what we have to do is look at what we call a load moment. I'll explain that to you. Or write it out for you. A load moment is what we call it in weight and balance. A load moment. What is a load moment? The load moment is the sum that we come up with when we take the distance from what we would call the reference point and multiply it by pounds. So this would actually be 210, 7 times 30 is 210 inch pounds. Okay, because we have inches and pounds, we multiply them both. So we have 210 inch pounds. Okay, so now if we have this and we came up with this number of inch pounds, we have to have the same number of inch pounds on this side. So we have to look at what number could be multiplied by two to give us 210 inch pounds. A and B goes right out the window because A is only going to give us 84 inch pounds. This is going to give us 168 inch inch pounds so 105 gives us 210 2 times 105 is 210 so if this weight is 105 pounds 2 times 105 is going to give us 210 inch pounds and we're basically, it's just going to, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to stay level. That side's not going to go down. This side's not going to go down. Because we have the same amount of inch pounds. It's kind of like, you got like, a small, lighter kid on this side with all this distance balancing out the fat kid closer to the seesaw uh, balance point. 
if that makes any sense. So our fat kid is over here. He's 101 five pounds, and then we got the little toddler, 30 pounds, and they're just balancing each other out perfectly. But the little kid has to be further away in order for the pound inches to measure up to balance out the bigger kid. So that was mechanical comprehension. I thank you guys for watching. There are going to be many, many, many videos to come. I love doing this stuff. <laughs> Don't ask me wrong. I love the math part of it. The science. Yeah, I like the science part of it too. But I want to help you guys kick butt on the ASVAB, the AFOQT, the ASTB, or the AFAS test. Um, that's kind of like my thing. I love tutoring. I love test taking. And I love helping people get really really good at taking tests so um that being said this is Keno thomas with asvab weekly if you know anybody that's uh, joining the military or thinking about it they're gonna have to take the asvab okay and so you want to score very very high on it in all areas so you can get the job you want to do if you say oh i want to be an air traffic controller and you can't do math that well and I'll, it doesn't have to be to this degree you're not gonna if you can't do basic fractions, conversions from whole numbers to fractions, fractions and decimals and percentages and stuff. You're gonna have issues. So you know what? There's videos here to help. Subscribe, like, and um, that's it. This is Keno Thomas. Thanks for watching. Good night. Like and subscribe. Thank you.